I am a six-time Lion King, the musical viewer. I am looking forward to when Mervish uh, brings this back to be number seven. It is my all-time favorite musical. How do you feel about being part of something that truly is iconic every time that open note happens and we get this amazing experience? I mean, I, th I think for me it's always a surprise when we see the audience because we've lived with this musical for so long and so when they when we have that first note and the, and the uh, circle of life happens and people are overwhelmed in the audience that's when I realized oh maybe we're part of something that's a little bit bigger than we thought but when we're rehearsing it we we're so used to doing it so we don't see that it's when the audience has come in that we realize that we're part of something quite iconic no, I think this is amazing for me to both to talk to both of you because I've got music and I've got dance put together. To do the movements, and especially with the costumes they have, how difficult is it to um, get the actors to do what they do so well because there is not a bump or a mistake or anything, but having to use those costumes and do what they do is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's quite a feat to tell you the truth. I mean, Garth Fagan uh, did an amazing job as the choreographer, and I think for him, it was very surprising because he's used to working with dancers who, who barely wear anything and to all of a sudden have to use these puppets and really create that and make it part of the dance, in, in fact, was probably was a challenge for him as well. But um, I think you just have to give the dancers confidence. They need confidence and be able to master the puppet and not let the puppet master them. You know, no, you know and, but <laughs> no, and I'm sorry to interrupt because one of the things that um, for somebody who may have never seen this, that's the one thing. Even though we are talking dance and puppet, there is a there are moments where you forget that's going on, and suddenly it's almost like seeing real live animals moving and dancing. You don't see the actors. Yeah, that's because it was brilliantly choreographed so that the movement and the dance seamlessly come together, and they are one. And at times the audience wants to look at the puppet, and then at other times they're actually just looking at the human. But they choose, they choose what moments they are relating to in the moment. Let's get to what I think is probably the most important part of The Lion King. It's the first note. Does that ever give you shivers or worries or anything? Because really that first note sets the whole show. It sure does, but I mean, most of the people who, who actually sing that first note are South African. And South Africans have a history of a cappella music anyway. So it's not, a div it's not a problem for them. So we give them the note, and here we go. It's part of their culture. So, yes, and, and I think what's great about that first note is we bring a whole different culture into, into for theater goers that they're not used to seeing. And that, and that first note is definitely iconic, but it doesn't... It doesn't worry me at all because I, we, we find people that can do it. And it's really joyous. It's really joyous to start a show with just one single note. I don't think know. there's any other show that does that. No, there no. no, there isn't. No. What, what do you think about this ensemble cast who are singing their hearts out every night? And I haven't seen the schedule, but I got a feeling it'll be like maybe two times during the day too. I think we've, we've found some great, really great people. And, and it's not, they're not just great artists, they're great people, which is really important for a show like this because it is about community. And um, to have people who, are really, who really feel that gives, gives us the energy and, and gives the show its heart and its energy. So we have, we've found some really, really good people and they're, and they're great at what they do. And they work hard. They really work hard. <laughs> As we wrap this up, what are you hoping for, for folks who have never seen this before? What do you hope they get from this? I'm going to ask the both of you. I think that it is just, it'll be, become one of their iconic experiences in their life. The same way you said you've seen it six times and you, it just hovers over you, the, the emotion over and over again. And that's what we hope for everyone, that they find a connection with it, that they come back over and over again, bring their family, their friends, their husbands later on. You know, 
that that it just really t goes to their heart. Absolutely. And you, sir? I, I, what Murray said, I think it's I think it's about a connection. Uh, it's a it's a show. It's a, it's a very, actually at it, its heart is a basic story. Um, and and I think a lot of people can relate to that. And once you when you go to the theatre, you want to relate to what's happening on stage. And I think this show does it for everybody, whether you're like five years old or or a grandparent. It, you, there's something that you can take from the show because it, it's. And uh, I think that's the most important thing. I cannot wait for number seven, folks. Thank you so much, and looking forward to it. Thank, thank you, you again. very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So